The National Weather Service in Lubbock has issued a severe weather statement for northwestern Texas and southwestern Oklahoma until 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 1.15 p.m., National Weather Service radar and spotters took notice of a strange occurrence. A dust devil, a rapidly swirling column of air that is similar to a tornado, had formed near the city of Lubbock, Texas. Reports from spotters claim that the dust devil stretches high into the atmosphere, at least three miles by some estimates. It was also unusually massive, with some onlookers stating that it had a width of around five miles. The storm will generally track northeast at around 20 miles per hour through northwestern Texas into southwestern Oklahoma. Some locations expected to be impacted by this event include but are not limited to Lubbock, Crosbyton, Floyd Ada, and Paducah in Texas, along with Hollis, Atlas, Carnegie, and Oklahoma City in Oklahoma. If you are in the path of this storm, take shelter. While dust devils typically have a much lower wind speed than traditional tornadoes, it is still possible for a dust devil such as this to cause serious bodily harm. If you are in a building, it is best to get to the lowest interior room in your building, preferably one without windows. If you are outside, try to make it to a sturdy, interior structure. If you are caught outside when the dust devil makes impact, get as low to the ground as possible. Try to cover your mouth, nose, and eyes with some sort of cloth or other covering to prevent dust inhalation. If you are in a vehicle, pull over and turn off your car. Dust can get inside your engine, potentially putting you in danger if you keep it running. It is advised that you shelter in place until an all-clear is given. This message will be updated with new information if needed. Repeating, the National Weather Service in Lubbock has issued a severe weather statement for northwestern Texas and southwestern Oklahoma until 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a dust storm warning for the state of Oklahoma until further notice. At around 4.10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a massive dust devil with an estimated width of around 5 miles passed over the city of Oklahoma City. As the dust devil was moving towards the city, it had a massive wall of dust surrounding it on all sides. As the dust devil settled, dust began to fall back down from the sky. It is believed that the dust will cover most of the state of Oklahoma over the course of the next few hours. Visibility is expected to get to near zero, along with occasional gusty winds in excess of 50 miles per hour. This is a life-threatening situation. Cities impacted include, but are not limited to, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Lawton, Clinton and Woodward. Dust storms lead to dangerous driving conditions. If you are in a vehicle, try to get to a shelter before the dust storm impacts you. If you are already in the dust storm, pull over, turn your lights off, and keep your foot off the brake. Stay tuned to local news media and National Weather Service updates for more information on this event. Repeating, the National Weather Service in Norman has issued a dust storm warning for the state of Oklahoma until further notice. This message is being transmitted at the request of the Department of Agriculture and the National Weather Service. It has been two weeks since the dust devil and subsequent dust storm occurred in Texas and Oklahoma. Over the course of the past two weeks, large volumes of dust have shown up around the country. 
Massive dust plumes have been reported as far as Washington, Florida, Maine, and California. If your area has been impacted by dust, it is advised that you shelter in place if possible. These dust plumes have reduced visibility to near zero in many areas of the country, making it dangerous to drive. The dust has also cooled the atmosphere considerably in many places, dropping the temperatures by as much as 30 degrees below average in some parts of the country. If you must go outside, it is advised you wear some sort of face covering, such as a mask, or some sort of cloth around your nose and mouth to avoid dust inhalation. Wearing glasses or goggles is also recommended to help prevent small dust particles from getting into your eyes. In many parts of the country, crop failures have been reported due to the lower temperatures and reduced sunlight due to the dust. It is advised that you stock up on canned foods if possible, as it may take weeks or even months for the food supply to recover. This event is expected to impact most areas of the country in some capacity, so be prepared for the worst. Remain calm and carefully plan your next action. If you need assistance, contact your local law enforcement office.